Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, add uh, addresses um, to your whitelist in Coinbase. So the idea here is that you can easily move um, your cryptocurrency from Coinbase to say Balance, um, to Binance or Oracle or whatever um, exchange you want to add it to. So if I go to my Binance account, then um, so I'd go to Fiat and Spot, let's say. And then I'd click Deposit. And I'm on the Deposit Crypto. If you're on the Deposit Fiat, then you'd need to click on Deposit Crypto. So let's say I wanted to add um, an address for ADA. So I find my ADA Cardano address, okay. Choose a network, I'm going to choose ADA. Okay, copy it and blimey, 30 network confirmations, that's quite a lot. So I click on that. Okay, and I've copied that. So that copies that address. Nice and easy address to remember. And then you go come to Coinbase, uh, click on that, and then click address book. And wait for about forever. <laughs> okay. So add new addresses, add new addresses, add new address. Oh, yeah. Okay. And this is just how crap Coinbase is. Okay. So you click on that. Actually, it's not too bad here. But it look at that. It's not in, in alphabetical order. You can't do a search for it. Look at this. I can't, that's like an up and down arrow there. It's really crappily done. All right. It's just so. Coinbase is just so crap. It really is really badly organized and really badly designed compared to Binance. It's just it's just a joke. I mean, <laughs> look at this. I mean, let's look at the scrolling down here. I've got to scroll down like that. What does that do? Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, just look at that scrolling down. Not in alphabetical order. How are you supposed to find anything? I mean, if there's like 200 coins, you just have to keep doing that. It's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Anyway, <laughs> my little gripe. So I'll click on Ada and then give it a nickname. So you'd some, put something like Binance Ada. Okay, so maybe you might build up a lot of exchanges going forwards. Okay, so I would put the name of the exchange and the coin. Okay, that's just my way of doing it. Enter address. Control V and then save addresses and that's it. And then what happens then, you should get a two-step verification. So it should, should uh, send to your phone. Yep. And then just put it in. Okay. Add address. And there it's it. Now what uh, Coinbase are now doing is... Um, it's taking 48 hours basically to for these whitelist um, addresses to come in. And that this is really good. This is just, you know protecting your money because these addresses take money off Coinbase. Okay. So if you've got somebody who wanted to move your money off Coinbase to their uh, address, okay. So if someone's stolen your laptop or something like that, if they, they've got to then take 48 hours, okay to do this, okay, because they've got to add a whitelist on. Um, yeah, they've got to add an address in, okay. So it's gonna take them 48 hours for your money to be moved off. So if you've realized that your laptop's been stolen or, or something like that, or you've been compromised, then you've got 48 hours to stop the process and losing all your crypto. So that's a good thing, it's a good thing. So that's how to um, add, should we do one more? Let's do one more guys. Let's, uh, yeah, let's add another one. Actually, just see what I've got in my portfolio first. Uh, actually, I've got Clover, haven't I? Let's see if I can add Clover. Right, hold on a minute, address book. So I'll go back to, let's see, Clover. Guessing that's Ethereum. 
I'm never sure which one to use, to be honest with you. I'll click that, copy that address. Uh, add new. This should be fun. Let's try to find Clover. See how ridiculous this is? <laughs> Come on, Coinbase. This is this is amateur. Amat is it CBC? I don't think it is, is it? It's CLB, I think. Pathetic. <laughs> oh, there we go. Clover. Four leaf clover. Okay, Binance. Clove. Add address. Save address. Get another one. Okay, that address. Okay, done. So there you go. That's how they go. Different addresses. Uh, actually, they see the notice. These are the same because that's the Ethereum address, basically. So if it's um, using the Ethereum network, it's the same. It's the same wallet address. Okay, done and dusted.